On this next sheet we're going to introduce the concept of for loops. Now what for loops are is they're something that allows you to do the same the same process again and again and again. Now often in Excel uh, you'll need to do apply something to some number or cell and do the, exactly the same process um, repeatedly so again and again and again. This for loops allow you to do this. So in 3A we've got this example where we want to sum all the numbers from 1 to 100. Now this is a repetitive process because you're effectively going 1 plus the next number 2 plus the next number 3 plus the next number 4. You're doing a repetitive process again and again. So that's um, how we can use a for loop to do that. So let's go into Visual Basic. So we're going to create a subroutine to, do, to sum all these numbers together. And we'll define a variable, what, what this sum will be. We'll call it sum. So a dimension called sum. We'll define it as a single number, and we'll set it start off at zero. So we're starting off at zero, and then we're counting all the numbers to 100 and adding them together. And this is where we enter the for loop. So we go for count one to 100. So the count function just um, makes it count all the numbers from one to 100. So for one to 100 get sum, make sum equal to sum, so it'll start at zero, plus count. And what that'll do is it'll do, um, it'll start off doing it for zero, plus count, which will start off at one, so it'll go zero plus one. And then on the next line you type next count, which will get it to do it for the number two. And then it'll go, keep going around and around. So after it does it for two, it'll do it for three, and it'll do it for four, and then five, six, seven. So that process will keep adding the next number to the previous the sum of all the previous numbers so it'll get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way to 100 which is what you want you want to add all the numbers up to 100 so that's what that for loop there and the next you need that next there to tell it to do the next one when you have a for loop all right and then once that's entered we're going to enter it that total value in a sum all the sum all range, we're going to make that equal to the value sum. So then we need to define that sum all range in here, so we'll define it there, sum underscore all. So we've defined that cell, and then now when we run that sum all macro, there you go, it's added all the numbers from 1 to 100, which add to 5050, and entered it in there. Alright, now 3b, we want it to do exactly the same thing but only add odd numbers from 1 to 100, so 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. So this is very similar, so we can um, copy that same code, it's very similar, except we need to change the names, it'll now be some odd. But the difference is we go 4, count 1 to 100, but we say step 2. And what that step command there do, will do is make it only do it two at a time, so it'll go 1, 3, 5, 7 and then we just change some all to some odd. So it's doing exactly the same process but only doing it two at a time, which is what we want. So we'll define that name there as some odd, and then run this macro. And there you go, it's added all the numbers, one, three, five, seven, etc., and they add up to 2,500 altogether.